swing set is getting buried. There is so much stinking snow. <laughs> and it is just coming down. We are really, really hoping we don't get a really hot spell and it uh, just melt really fast. You can't even see the mountains. It's just a complete white out. I love it. It's beautiful, but I'm grateful I don't have to go anywhere in it. prepared for this. Not prepared. We're on a well and so we have no water either because we don't have any power to the well. So we are just not prepared. We don't have any backup water. And we have water we could go dig it out of. The, we have some cisterns that hold um, thousand gallons of water. So I mean if it was a true emergency we could get to water but we don't have any easy water in the house. The snow is really 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 coming down. It has been all day, all night. Um, this got parked here yesterday, um, full of snow, you can see the barbecue grill, how much snow is on there, heck even this bucket shows you a little bit. It, I mean the swing set, you know, the swings are close to being buried, the baby swing is buried. We have so much snow, I cannot even believe how much snow. But trying to teach the three year old that the power's out and why the power's out has been quiet to the adventure this morning. She wanted me to put batteries in the light switch. Um, just didn't quite understand what was going on. So we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, this is yet another reason to get prepared. Get our stove working. Um, I would like to have a gas powered kitchen stove. We have an electric. So I mean, there's just certain things that we are not prepared in the event of a real problem. So we'll make it today, won't we? What are you waiting for? Honey. Honey? You want honey on what? Honey on a spoon. She's crazy. <laughs> she likes honey on a spoon. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. My uh, Sam found out that honey is bee barf, <laughs> and now he won't eat it. <laughs> That's all. Okay. What is that? No more. Okay. I'm going to go out and check on the pigs and the chickens, see if they... Take the pig ball. Uh, see if they need anything. Okay. So much snow. It snowed like all night. See if they need some water. Yeah, they probably do. Mm, okay. Some of you may be wondering why I'm not wearing my glasses. Well, I got a new pair and within, I think, two days, I stepped on them. So we gotta wait till tomorrow to get them fixed. Hey guys. They don't really want to come outside. It's, it's really cold and snowy. So, we've got to get the pigs some water. They drink, they go through their water really fast. We've got seven pigs and one little tiny thing to give for them to drink water out of. It doesn't work out very well. Ah! 
I like to like to go down by the pond in the creek and just whoa, look around. Oh my goodness. It goes up to my knees. Okay, maybe I won't go up right now, but I like to go down to the creek and and the pond and the owl box and just look around be by myself for a few minutes. It's so peaceful and quiet. And I like to just get a few moments to myself down there. It's just beautiful. You can't really see the pond or the creek, but in the spring and the summer, it's beautiful. And you can hear the gurgling. You can hear it just, like sometimes if it's rained a lot, there's so much water in there, it's crazy, it runs like so fast. With the power outage this morning, it's kind of put us behind with our schedule. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do some sight words um, for Sam's school and then we're going to read. Um, for our sight words, we have a list of fry words. Um, we printed it off online. And so I take some cards and I cut them in half. Um, to make more of food. So they go further because I'm thrifty. <laughs> I flip through the cards, the, the letters, the letters, the words. And then as he passes off the word without having to try or guessing if he knows it right off, then we give him an X on the back or smiley face or whatever we do. Um, once he does it five times, it goes in the where? Where do we put it? Burn box. In the burn box. We have a box that he can burn them when he gets a whole bunch of them or cut them up or throw them away. But we kind of like to burn things around here. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do our sight words. Um, it's been a really effective way to learn our words. Uh, what's an adjective, Mom? Wind. Good job. Mm. It is on. Adjectives are what you use to describe things. Mm. Okay. Mom, it's it up! Try it. Here. Good job. Must. Close. So if he misses one, we have him read it three times in a row. Through, through, through. What you working on, miss? Um, Mad Libs. Mad Libs. And what does Mad Libs do to teach you anything? Um, what, like, what adjectives are nouns and verbs and parts of bodies are? <laughs> So you gotta pick like different uh, adjectives and things. Mm -hmm. So it kind of teaches you what they are, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome, yeah. and they're funny. Mm -hmm. We'll have her read this one when she's done. Every morning your bus runs a, runs a, a soft route, so you must be sure to arrive at your local house early. While waiting, do not run in the middle of the street. You might get run over by an ugly dog. <laughs> when you see the bus, wave your head before if you, when you see the bus, wave your head. Before boarding, make sure you have all of your rough books in, and your lunch jar. When you board the bus, do not push or jostle any of the smaller cats. Go to the nearest empty seat and swim. Do not talk to the dog while the bus is in motion. Do not throw cats at the other students. Instead of wasting time by, ru running, by running, use the the trip to study your house houses. Follow these rules and you will have a small ride and arrive sadly at your soft school. Now it's called Rules for Riding the School Bus. That's awesome.